Hi, I'm Van Phillips, European Tour winner and PGA coach. And in today's lesson, I'm gonna be talking about should we hit up on the driver or should we hit down on the driver? There's a very distinct reason why you should choose one or the other. Okay, so it's pretty common knowledge now, or if you didn't know it, I'm going to explain that it's common knowledge, that if we want to maximise distance with the driver, that really, ideally, we should hit up on it. So as we're coming into impact, we want to have the driver actually ascending when it makes contact with the ball. The reason for that is because it will give us the highest possible launch with the lowest possible spin, and those are characteristics that will give us the maximum distance. Now. The problem is, when we have low spin on a ball, any slight deviations in the club face impact will result in more deviation of the golf ball. So we're going to see wider dispersions when that spin comes down. So there's a compromise between hitting the ball as far as we possibly can and as straight as we possibly can. And that's why we see the guys that win the World Long Driving Championships hardly ever can play the game to the highest level because they simply can't keep the ball in play enough. So they maximise distance but they really pay the penalty with erratic drives from the tee which don't work on a golf course. So what we need is to make the right decision as to whether we are a down striker or an up striker. We really have to find out our club head speed. So we really need a little bit of equipment there and it's very easily available these days at pretty much every golf venue in the world now, you'll be able to measure your club head speed. Some devices are more expensive than others, but I would urge you to find out your club head speed. Now, I'm gonna give you a very rough guideline here, but if you swing more than 100 miles an hour with driver, then you have got two choices in that instance. If you wanna maximize distance, yes, I would still recommend you try and get slightly ascending with your blow, but you do have the option, if you swing faster than 100 miles an hour, to hit horizontal or slightly down, because that's gonna give you more spin on your driver, which will help you to keep the ball straighter. Now, if you're lower than 100 miles an hour, then I would recommend that you do attempt and go and see your pro or watch my videos on how to get a more ascending blow and you definitely need to try and hit up on it because you need to maximize distance if you can't swing faster than 100 miles an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead now and hit two drives. I'm gonna hit one on the up and go ahead and watch my how to smash the driver where I detail what we can do in the setup and what we can do technically to swing to hit more on the up there. And I'm gonna to expect to see a higher ball flight here with lower spin but I'm going to anticipate that, or I'm going to know, I'm going to understand that if I make some slight errors with the club face impact, there's a chance the ball will go a bit more offline. So I'm going to go ahead with this first swing. I'm going to hit this one on the up. Makes sense to tee the ball higher also. When you're going to hit it on the up, make sure you get that tee peg a little bit higher than normal. Dead straight, actually, I really nuked that one. Now, Garcia just won the Masters Championship, one of the greatest drivers of a golf ball of all time, and he actually averages a slightly downward hit, but the reason he can do that is because he can swing in excess of 115 miles an hour. So, Garcia compromises distance. He could be even longer if he wanted to be, but he wants to be straight and long, so he prefers a slightly downward blow. I'm gonna illustrate that now in this swing. I'm gonna tee the ball a bit lower. That's gonna encourage me to hit down a bit more on it. And I'm also going to anticipate that it's gonna be a little bit more spinny, so I know it's gonna come out low. I know it might be a bit shorter, but I'm going a bit more for accuracy here.
so lower T peg. And a real bullet there, I'd be very happy with that. That was a Garcia special. So what you need to understand is how fast you swing the club. You need to check that somewhere. You must get an accurate swing speed, very easy these days. If you're lower than 100, you're gonna peg it up high, okay? You're gonna watch my How to Smash the Driver video. It's gonna teach you how to hit up on the ball to maximize distance because you need distance if, you're, if you swing slower than 100 miles an hour. All the lady professionals, or pretty much all the lady professionals who obviously have slower swing speeds in general than the male professionals, their average blow with a driver is always two to four degrees on the up, whereas the male tour on the PGA Tour, their average driver is more horizontal to slightly down because they have the extra club head speed. Now, a little bit of extra information, when we hit up on the ball, the path of the club is actually going a bit more to the left, so you might want to aim fractionally to the right with driver if you are an upswinger. If you're a slight downswinger and you've got lots of club head speed, the club tends to travel a bit more out to the right when we swing down, so you're going to want to adjust your alignment slightly to the left. So just a couple of keys to pay attention to there with driver. Uh, longer, better players can mix between the two so if you are a scratch golfer or maybe a five handicap down to maybe plus two or plus three you're an exceptional amateur you can play around with this so if you're playing on a tight par four where accuracy is more important than distance you might want to go for the low peg slightly more descending blow because you know that's going to give you more spin and therefore more chance to hit it straight and then maybe a par five hole where the fairway might be a bit more generous you're going to switch your angle of attack to being more on the ascending. So better players can switch around. If you're more in that upper echelon handicap, if you're more sort of 15 up to 24 handicap, you need to choose the angle of attack that's right for your club head speed. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already and head over to my website www.vanphillips.co.uk There's a wealth of information on there. I'll see you in the next video.